Hi, my name is Brian and I'm going to be reviewing the Q3 newer portable studio strobe light. Let's get to what's inside. So you're going to get this carrying case if you're on the go or want to make sure all your gear is in one place. This will make sure um, that it has that. So as I open it up, you're going to see studio strobe light right here. Um, this is also portable so you can take it anywhere you want to because it is powered by lithium battery. Um, you also have the AC adapter and the battery port for the lithium battery that it comes with. You also have the tripod attachment and a place for an additional battery or if you choose to take it out, you can put that battery in there as well. You're going to get two boxes. So that was the first one. You're also going to get a box for the wireless trigger. So this is the wireless trigger that it comes with. You're also going to get a sync cable and a hot shoe stand to um, attach it to as well. So it does come with those components. So let's get into how it works. You can see I have the wireless trigger here. You have five different groups, A, B, C, D, and E. You're also going to have your menu, a zoom function, mode, and the actual flash. So if you want to test the flash, you can click this. It does on the bottom have a hot shoe stand as well as a dial to um, utilize any of the functions on screen. It does come with a manual, so if you are stuck on how to use it, this is a very nifty manual that comes with everything that it comes with, as well as how to use each function. So as you can see here, I have the wireless trigger. You have the group A, group B, group C, D, and E. You can switch the dial on the bottom to change the measurements for each mode or you can change the mode as well. Um, that's menu, sorry. You can change the mode right here to multi, TTL. You can change right here different modes as well. If you click that specific group, you can even turn it off. And this will work for whichever strobe is connected to that group. You also have your zoom mode in here, which you can set it to um, auto, or you can change that as well to 20, millimeters, 28, 35, 50, all the way to 200, I believe. Yes, 200. You can see that I have the actual strobe light here. You can use the dial to change the exposure compensation as well as the f-stop as what the strobe will produce. As you know, the highest is going to be that one over one. Click that. You can see how powerful that is. It's going to take a little bit to recharge, but not long. Immediately, you can go right after and get a really nice, powerful flash. Um, you're going to get that high-speed sync right there, S1, S2, also that function um, to where you can connect other strobes. We also have the channel group, mode, and the modeling light. And this modeling light, as you see, will make sure that it illuminates the subject wherever you're shooting so you can get that perfect detail. Okay, so I have my assistant here, and we are going to uh, shoot through TTL and manual mode with the speed light. I'm going to show you how that works. So I have the wireless trigger here set to negative 3.0. This is going to make sure that the exposure is very underexposed, um, just so you can kind of see the difference. So this is shooting with 3.0. As you can tell in the photo, this is very underexposed, um, but we actually have the option to change that. So I'm gonna go into group A and go to 0.0, .0 which is perfectly exposed. No, with this light, I found that on most cases it works automatically, like 99% of the time. So we're gonna go with that. Perfect, so you can see in this photo, it's gonna be a lot brighter. You can see it's a lot more exposed. Um, I prefer a slightly overexposed, so I'm gonna go in just to show you at 3.0 in addition, so it's gonna be a little overexposed. And you can see that is 3.0. It's so definitely overexposed. You can see that it definitely brings in that light. You have the option to do that. I'm just gonna go for just my purposes, go to up point, uh, or go up one. And I feel like that is a perfectly exposed photo in my sense. It definitely adds that brightness onto one side. 
and you're going to get that um, perfect light in that scenario. Now let's go into a more manual mode. So we're gonna switch over to manual. I'm gonna shoot so you can see at the fullest power how that looks. So I switched the trigger to manual mode directly from here. It's gonna go directly to here uh, if they're on the same group and channel. So this is the full power. As you can see in this photo, fills it with light. This is actually a perfect um, lighting scenario when it comes to uh, photographing multiple people where you need that light or on really dark areas. Um, you can definitely use that in scenarios like that. Um, I prefer to shoot at a mid-range, so I'm gonna just switch over to one over 32. That's gonna give a really nice airy feel to the photo. I prefer this look, um, and that's going to be shot at that uh, f-stop. Um, but you really get a lot of different uses with this speed light. I like that it's portable. I'm using a light modifier here that works perfectly with it. You can really use it for a beauty, with a beauty dish. You can use it with a octobox. You can use it with an umbrella. Um, you can even use it by itself if you prefer um, hard light. So you can use that. You also have the different buttons here. Um, this is going to be mode, so you can definitely change if you want to uh, control multi-lights, if you want to do through the lens, TTL, or if you want to do manual mode. Um, you have the different functions here for if you want to use it um, as the main uh, light. And then you also have, what I love about this one, if you have a hard time finding details or if it's a dark room, you can turn on the modeling light right here and you can see it lights up the subject. So you can get that perfect um, focus when you are focusing with your camera. Um, you also have high speed sync, which is great if you really need to get that perfect shot and it's like mid air or you need a lot of details and you feel like sometimes it slows it down, you can use that. And then also if you wanna test out the flash, you just press this red button here and you can test it out and see how that works. Um, what I love about this light is that it really recharges fast, so when you're on shoot, and you don't really have to wait that long between um, shots, so you can definitely use that, and um, you don't have to worry about it failing you on shoot. So that is the newer speed light. It is definitely something that I've added to my arsenal for photography, and I'm super excited because it is portable, and you can really take it with you anywhere you go, fits right in your pocket, and you get a lot of good shots with it. So thanks for watching.